Hi guys doing, welcome to the YouTube channel, Joey O, yours truly, and welcome to a new episode of... And on today's episode of the CAC Archives, we're going to be going over filming references. Uh -huh. That is right, film references. About every single thing that I've created on the internet, and almost anything and everything that I've created, has references. References to shows, videos, motion pictures out there in the community. And today I want to go over some of those things to let you guys know, to talk about some of the things of what certain things reference in my videos and films. Something that people didn't realize and something I never talked about in the archives of my filming. Let me go ahead and start off with this episode of the first category, the Brum Soldiers or Brum Leader, the Brums. Brums, which stands for Bureau Restricted Unidentified Military Service. Mouthful. The Brum Soldiers, Brum Leader, they were created on June 6, 2006. A long time ago. The Brums are supposed to be this weird, mysterious... They're non-human. They're very deep voice. You can't see them. They got this weird military militia, guerrilla warfare looking outfit. Something that we created when we were younger. We were never good at making characters, so we just basically hid in our faces in the past. Of course, over time, the Brum Soldiers and the Brum Leader, they started to evolve, they, you know, they started to get better costumes, uh, gear for the filmmaking. What people don't know, and this is again in the Pekak Vault, the Brum Soldiers and the Brum Leader actually come from a reference from a video game. That's where the Brums came from. That's where my inspiration came from to create the Brum Soldiers. It actually comes from... Great Commander. This way. Hmm, indeed. Put her in custody. Is this really necessary? It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. So you can see where the Brum Soldiers, the Brum Leader kind of got created from. You can see the inspiration. Not really, but you, you know what I mean. It's there. You can see the mysterious, you know, their faces are all covered up, hidden. You can't really see or you don't know who they are or what they are. PlayStation 1 game Legends of the Dragon, which is my all-time favorite. Something about that character, when you first start the game, when you first boot it up and you see this character, just something about him always got me as a child. And then around the times of filmmaking, the references came together and, well, here comes creation of the Brum Soldiers. Now, speaking of the Brum Soldiers, here's another reference, we'll go into number two. If you guys notice in a YouTube series that we made on our old channel called Survivors of Extinction, you're gonna see a scene where Royland, he is basically dying, he got shot, he tells me to go off, to run off, he says, go, go, leave without me. And you see in the scene where he's face to face with the enemy, and he says something like this. Fuck you, fuck you, dude. Now that scene, is a big reference to Fuck you for what you did. Fuck you for what you did. Now, I was a sucker for that movie, uh, The Crazies, which came out in 2010. I, I don't know why. A lot of people didn't like it. <laughs> I loved it. It was it was great, which The Crazies is actually based off of an original that came out in 1973. I loved the movie. I thought it was great. That little moment, that reference is in Survivors of Extinction. Same thing, Roy's on the ground. He says, fuck you for what you did. Kind of has the same similarity, same reference from The Crazies, because it's true. Uh, both governments in both films backstabbed us, so fuck you for what you did. Government, don't kill me. Please don't poison me. Now let's move on to reference number three. Three. Why you gotta say it like that? Three, little faggot. So there was a film that I made. It was called Blackheart. We made it in 2011 and it wrapped up around 2012. Blackheart was your average crime mystery movie. The murder of a young female. Two detectives are on the case and then they start finding bad things and corruption and it goes from there. Now this was highly referenced off of Heavy Rain 2010 PlayStation 3. Off, sir. Please step back.
Yeah, I know. A lot of people don't know that we made a mystery crime serious, very serious movie. Like, one that could probably put a tear in your eye. Again, this is why this is called the CAC Archives. A lot of things that are hidden. So there was a lot of inspiration in the PlayStation 3 Heavy Rain video game. I think everybody can agree that Heavy Rain had an amazing story. I mean, it played out like a movie. Of course, you got a film director here. I'm like, well, let me see. Um, man, this gave me inspiration to make a crime film. And hence you have Blackheart. Now let's move on to the reference number four. The Joey on the Grounds show. The Joey on the Grounds was honestly and will always be one of my favorite works of a small YouTube series. Pretty good decent work in it. Joey on the Grounds involves two idiot characters in the series of crazy unfortunate events. Joey living down the street right across from Rydell. Rydell being the worst neighbor to Joey and they both get involved in disastrous events. Now the reference to this, if it's not obvious by now, what really gave the inspiration to reference to the Joey on the Grounds as well, none other than Drake and Josh. Josh. I mean, man, I grew up to that series. That was my childhood. <laughs> I love Drake and Josh. So the series of Drake and Josh on Nickelodeon premiered on 2004 and I think it went up to 2007 with four seasons. I was doing a show in my high school in 2009 called The Joe Wheel Show. When I graduated in 2010, of course, with a little bit of reference and inspiration of Drake and Josh, thus born The Joe Wheel on the Ground Show. It's like Drake and Josh, but with Cubans. Cubified. Cubano style. Yeah. And here we go for the fifth reference. For this one, we're going back to Survivors of Extinction. Another big YouTube series we created in the past. Survivors of Extinction was created in 2012 and we wrapped it up around in the year 2013. The story of Survivors of Extinction is based off of a main character who escapes a bunker and walks through the wasteland of the United States, looking for his fiance in hopes that she is still alive. You soon later start learning that the main character has this weird disease that makes him into a creature, non-human. Red glowing eyes and hunger for human flesh. The story continues on in Survivors of Extinction with a bunch of conspiracies with the government and the military, and it goes on from there. Now, the reference for Survivors of Extinction, if it's not obvious at this point, if it hasn't hit you yet, there's two references. The first reference is, well, it's kind of obvious. If you didn't know by now, <laughs> Fallout, the video game series by Bethesda. Second reference comes in as Elfin Line, an anime series that was made in 2004. Now you can see the reference with this one red eyed creatures. Both references fall out to the video game series and the anime series Elfin Lord. Put those together, you got Survivors of Extinction, kind of. You got the nuclear wasteland with these fanged red eyed creatures. So, the more you know. Now, almost everything that I've created on the internet, every video, every short, every skit, everything has a major reference to one thing. The sixth reference and the final reference that I'm going to mention for this episode is, if you haven't noticed of every video I made, even the music, some moments here and there in the videos, they all reference to Legends of the Dragoon, a PlayStation 1 game that was released in December 1999. Some people noticed this for the last 10 years of my filmmaking, some haven't, and a lot haven't. But I mean it's <laughs> I'm not I'm not a fan. 
uh, or anything. You know, I may have some, every single one of the action figures. I mean, I may have two copies of the American version. I mean, and, you know, it may be the Japanese version. You know, I might have the VHS collector's edition. I might have the manga. So, I mean, in a, in a PlayStation collector's edition version that nobody has. There's only five of these. So the Prima Guide. And I even have a 3D Virage, by the way. If everybody know the people getting those Virages, you're fucking welcome. 2-Bit. The guy that makes them. I was the first one. Damn, I already have them all. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess you can call me a fan. <laughs> Now, all of these years I've been filming and making videos and movies on YouTube and stuff, I've been referencing Legend of Dragoon a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. There goes that question where people ask, Hey, why don't you make a Legend of Dragoon series? Or why, why haven't you made a Legend of Dragoon film? Because I don't want to get sued by Sony. Don't get me wrong, doing this has always been my dream. My soul mind dream to make. But to do something like Legend of Dragoon, I'm going to have to pull off something like this. single film, every skit, every video, every single thing that I've created since I was the age of seven comes up to 5% of the 95% of that for me to pull off. We're talking some serious budgeting, serious money, some stunts and actors, insane CGI. I'm not saying that it is impossible. Fuck that. I will definitely will always chase my dream to make that a reality. I'll be standing there in front of the Sony studios and fight for my might to make this shit happen one day. But until then, I guess I gotta shit on the old YouTube poop YouTube system. Now these are a couple of references that I wanted to go over with everybody. Now I'm sure there's a couple of others that I passed that went over my head. But if you guys have any other or you m might have an idea of any references that you caught from us from all previous past work or current work, please. Write your awesome creative comments in the comment section below and let me know. If there's anything else you noticed or catched in our filmmaking, let us know. But until then, that wraps up this episode of Bacac Archives. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you please, if you can, if you will, if you can go right here and subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and always do that so you can follow us for the next released video. And you can click over here for our secondary YouTube channel and whatever else bullshit that I uploaded from last time. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time on the next video on the YouTube channel. Till then, take care.